What's going on everybody? Doc from Average Gamer guys back yet again and as you can see super hyped for this finally getting into some Call of Duty World War 2. So this is going to be a real quick video. I just want to talk about my first about hour and a half into the game and just give my impressions. I'm going to be honest up front. This is the campaign right here. Sorry for a little bit of the gr brutal details but um, this game looks stunning. I'll just say that up front. It looks stunning. Um, you definitely, from the first mission, really feel like you're getting thrown into a large-scale war, uh, and it is awesome. Controls are smooth. Everything on that front feels really, really good. Um, I had the chance uh, previous to this to actually jump into, and actually the first thing I did was jump over into Zombies, um, and that was a similar experience. Really, really fun. Had a good time with that. Just played a little bit of local, uh, local play, just single player. And, uh, and then doing what I'm doing right here, I just hopped over uh, and I got into the campaign. Um, there was two reasons for that. I'll get to that here in just a second. But again, overall, this game looks great, feels great. Um, controls, again, real smooth, having a lot of fun. Uh, the campaign, good variety. Um, I like this first kind of setup with missions. You get a good variety of picking up some different weapons um, and uh, and just you know trying to get used to this kind of new formula. Uh, we haven't seen uh, health packs in Call of Duty in quite some time, uh, and uh, and it's an interesting dynamic. We also get a pretty cool dynamic with some of the uh, you know the, the characters that we're playing with and some of our allies being able to throw us and actually level them up as we progress through uh, and kill enemies and. Uh, do what they call heroic events, uh, which is essentially to kind of save uh, save folks at kind of like mini cutscenes or not even cutscenes, really just in-game uh, actions uh, moving through it. So it's pretty interesting. So a lot of you know differences from previous Call of Duties that we've seen, and uh, a good mixture of some similarities that we've seen as well. Um, again, the combat feels fluid, controls feel fluid as always. And uh, overall, just good. Like I said, campaign really detailed, a lot of fun. Uh, this first mission here we're working through is just a lot of bunker clearances. And, you know, the bunkers could be pretty, um, you know, they could be pretty cookie cutter. But every single one that we roll through is different. Uh, and they just present you with a lot of different options and, and uh, a lot of different things to do inside of just the campaign. Uh, really get you involved and so far the story has been pretty captivating again not too far into the game but um, the fact that we can dismount uh, this MG42 is really awesome as well so uh, like I said having a lot of fun with this hopefully you guys are as well um, I know this was one of the game that I was really really looking forward to and also one game that we're gonna cover on the channel as much as we possibly can um, really looking forward to jumping into played the beta really looking forward to jumping into and uh, talking through some different aspects of multiplayer do kind of some weapon reviews some map reviews as well um, and uh, just kind of talk some strategies as we always do uh, between me and sloth and then also uh, you know big fans of zombies really want to get into that uh, do some guides on that just do some tutorials and some strategies as well um, and uh, and really just kind of talk through the majority of this game I'm also hoping to, to kind of talk through uh, and make Maybe walk through some of the more difficult portions of the campaign, uh, especially in the higher difficulties. This one seems like it's going to be uh, pretty difficult on the veteran difficulty, which is good. Uh, present a good challenge and definitely want to be able to provide uh, some guides for you as well on that. Also hoping, <laughs> hoping on this first run through I can find all of the mementos and uh, definitely want to do a memento guide and kind of some achievement guides as well. Uh, on, uh, on how to pick up some of these achievements that are involved. Now, I'll get to the second portion of my first impressions. And I ended up seeing quite a bit of this screen here right about now. No, not, not quite now. Right about now. <laughs> Connecting to Xbox Live. And I saw a lot of this screen. And I continued to see a lot of this screen up until the point where I said I've had enough and I need to try to go to sleep. So uh, as of the posting of this video there were some pretty significant server issues not able to get onto Xbox Live. I know PlayStation and PC I believe were also having similar issues uh, with the connectivity. So that kind of ruins it a little bit uh, for me. I don't want it to spoil the game. I'm sure by the time I boot this up tomorrow this will be fixed and it will be up and running. But 
The one thing beyond zombies that I really wanted to play was the multiplayer tonight and didn't get a chance to. So hopefully you're not, uh, I'm a little frustrated. Hopefully you guys aren't as frustrated. Hopefully when you pick it up, you're able to go hop into it and hopefully it's resolved quickly. I'm hoping by the time I post this, it's resolved, uh, but only time will tell. So um, first initial impressions, really good campaign zombies, a lot of fun. Multiplayer, I got to hold out for it because I haven't been able to play it yet. Uh, but we got more coming, so stay tuned. Appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day with me. And if you're enjoying Call of Duty, let me know and let me know what you want to see. Doc from Average Gamer, guys. Catch you in the next one.